Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. Well, today's session is about injection nitroprusate infusion using an infusion pump. Before entering into this session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. Injection sodium nitroprusate belongs to the group antihypertensives and it is a vasodilator. Indications for using injection sodium nitroprusate include hypertensive crisis that is a sudden and dangerous increase in blood pressure and congestive heart failure. Now, how is it available? Injection sodium nitroprusate comes in vial forms and one vial contains 2 ml which equals 50 mg of strength. It comes under the brand name Nitropress or Nipride. Mostly, the emergency drugs used should be diluted before administration. But there is something special about nitroprusside. Depending on the desired concentration, the solution containing 50 mg of nitropress must be further diluted in 250 to 1000 ml of sterile 5% dextrose injection. Let's look into the concentration after getting diluted one by one. First will be 50 mg in 250 ml which equals 50,000 microgram in 250 ml and when we calculate it dividing 50,000 by 250 we get 200 microgram per ml. Next will be 50 mg of nitroprusside in 500 ml equals 50,000 microgram in 500 ml. And when we calculate dividing 50,000 by 500, we get 100 microgram per ml. Next will be 50 milligram in 1000 ml, which equals 50,000 microgram in 1000 ml. And when we calculate dividing 50,000 by 1000, we get 50 microgram per ml. So. These are the three forms of dilution of injection nitroprusside and after dilution how much each ml contains. Now caution before administering injection nitroprusside. There is something significant about injection nitroprusside because it is a photosensitive drug. The diluted solution should be protected from light using aluminium foil or other opaque material. Dosage of injection nitroprusside is given in two form that is initial dose 0.3 microgram per kg per minute and maximum dose will be 10 microgram per kg per minute. Let's move on to the example. Doctor's prescription for injection sodium nitroprusside infusion is 0.5 microgram per kg of body weight per minute. Now how to prepare the infusion. All we need is an infusion pump, an IV set, and the body weight of the patient. And as the example reads, it's 0.5 microgram per kg of weight per minute. And the compatible IV solution will be dextrose 5%. One more important thing to be kept in mind is the presence of a very good intravenous access line before administering injection nitroprusside. Let's look into the formula. The formula will be desired dose multiplied by quantity multiplied by body weight multiplied by time and minutes divided by available dose multiplied by thousand which gives the ml per hour. We will be calculating the given doctor's prescription in three forms of dilution. The first will be using 50 mg of sodium nitroprusate in 250 ml of the dilutant. As per the formula, the desired dose here is 0.5, quantity will be 250, body weight is 85 kg, time in minutes will be 60, available dose is 50, and applying all into the formula we get the answer 12.75 ml per hour. Next will be applying the same example using 50 mg of sodium nitroprusside in 500 ml. Here as per the formula the desired dose is 0.5, quantity is 500, 
body weight is 85 kg, time in minutes is 60 and available dose is 50. And applying all into the formula, we get the answer 25.5 ml per hour. Next will be applying the same example using 50 mg of sodium nitroperoxide in 1000 ml. As per the formula, the desired dose is 0.5, quantity is 1000, body weight is 85 kg, time in minutes will be 60 and available dose will be 50. Applying all into the formula, we get the answer 51 ml per hour. Let's have a look on some of the warnings before administering injection sodium nitroperoxide. First thing is, it requires dilution prior to infusion. Use infusion pump for the infusion of injection sodium nitroperoxide. Infusion should be protected from light because it is a photosensitive drug. Hypotension may occur, leading to irreversible ischemic injury or death. Cyanide toxicity may occur because of accumulation of cyanide ion. This is all about injection sodium nitroperoxide infusion using an infusion pump. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.